Today on Toy Shoes, shucks, howdy, we got a bounty to collect. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new for 2021, the Redux version of the best action Spike Spiegel by the loyal subjects. This is an updated action figure from their 2020 offering, new head portraits, We'll look at those in depth. It's pretty much the exact same box as usual, even the back, which doesn't show the extra head, just FYI. If you look at the digital rendering, this looks to be a little bit more spot on. Spike Spiegel has a very interesting face. One little line off, it doesn't look like Spike anymore. And here's the barcode as well. These are starting to hit Walmart stores now, and that's where I found mine. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Ganymede coffee. This is a look at the brand new updated Redux Spike Spiegel from the Best Action Line by the Loyal Subjects. And of course, here's Spike Spiegel taken out of the packaging. Couple extra hands, accessories, extra head portraits, and yeah, you do get a nicely articulated figure and as i've already gone over the first time around you get pretty much the same exact accessories not a little or no paint on them you get fisted hands you do get this extra head portrait which is eh, it's it's not my favorite i could say the hair is cool i think the eyes are good i think the paint is applied nicely for the eyes but it's not the expression I want. But for old Spike, he does come with his gun. He holds it nicely. Still, the finger doesn't go within the trigger. You know what I mean? Just saying. But you do get a really nice updated Spike Spiegel figure. And I really like this head portrait compared to this one where he's kind of looking over to the side. It just doesn't really work. And I don't think it really looks like Spike Spiegel in the facial expression, right? So with this Spike, you can see, yes, the hair is different. In fact, it is very spiky. Try switching these around. It really makes an impression on your fingertips, I'm not gonna lie. But the paint is good for what little there is. Now, I don't think that there has to be a ton of paint on this guy, but for when he needs it in the details, it is there. The head articulation works pretty good. You get some nice rotation out of it. Now, one thing I will point out, when it comes to the flesh that's on his face, the flesh that's on his arms and hands, when you look at the neck part that is painted within the yellow collar, it's a completely different flesh tone. You might not be able to see it right here on the video perfectly, but once in hand, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He has a semblance of an ab crunch, he'll twist at the waist, his arms will rotate, he's got a semblance of butterfly joints, so they work, they add to it. He's got single jointed elbows, the wrists rock, he's got some nice legs, nice spindly legs, that's something that really is noticeable of Spike in the anime cartoon. He's got double jointed knees for maximum kick and mobility, and he's got some nice rocker in the ankle, goes up, down, left, right. So the articulation works for me, and you do get some nice poses out of him. It really does look like Spike. So I'll give it to him all day. The much more updated head portrait works, and I'm surprised you can stand him on one leg and do the kick in motion. How many times did Spike kick somebody in that anime? Yep, you can do it to recreate it right there. He holds the gun okay. This head portrait, the only time I could really think that he could make this face is when he was mistaken for vicious. You know, when he goes like, you think I'm vicious? Other than that, it's, it's not a very Spike Spiegel face. I, if anything, a more relaxed, a smirking face, something like that would have been better. This one, I just don't feel matches the character at all. When you want to look at it in terms of how they measure up from the prior Spike to this new Spike, I'm a huge Cowboy Bebop fan. So to get a $15 figure every once in a while for Cowboy Bebop is awesome to me. You can definitely see the updated look in the face only. The body, everything is largely the same. Yeah, you might have some more crisp paint here and there, maybe a little bit darker of a blue on the new figure, but largely it's the same except for the head portraits. And the original head portrait, while I did like it at the time, I like the smirk to him, but the hair is really updated this time around, but both are sordidly lacking in a green swoosh. Spike's got green hair, he needs a green swoosh of paint. That would have just elevated so much better, I'm just saying. But in either case, 
I do like this new version a whole heck of a lot better. Now, when you pair him up against Vicious, the other character from Cowboy Bebop for the best action line, yeah, he fits okay. I don't want to see a continuous like, oh, we're just updated the head, yada yada. If anything, these figures should come with new accessories or something to that degree. Going forward, if you do another spike, let's get some show-specific accessories, something like that. Or heck, how about Ed, Ein, Jet, or Faye? Huh? <laughs> or any other supporting characters. I don't care, but I just don't want to see a bunch of like, hey, well, we redid the face again. But I will tell you this, in the right lights, these do photograph very well. So that's going to wrap up my really quick look at the brand new 2021 Redux version of Spike Spiegel from the Best Action Series line by The Loyal Subjects. It is a nice upgrade, especially in the head portrait. It's much more spot on to Spike with one. With the other one, not so much. But hey, it might be your cup of tea. But for me, I don't really think it fits the character. I really think this would have benefited a whole heck of a lot more for adding some show-specific accessories. Maybe those headphones of his. Maybe a cigarette. I don't know what you can get away with <laughs> with best action with a Cowboy Bebop. I wouldn't mind, right? That does fit the character incredibly. Heck, maybe some bell peppers and beef. Something to that degree would have been awesome. But in either case, if you're a big Cowboy Bebop fan, I think you're really going to like this figure. If you got the original one, ask yourself, do you need the updated one? But I am curious to know what you guys think about this brand new Spike Spiegel. Will you be picking him up? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Cowboy Bebop. What do you guys think about the new Netflix show coming out? I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you go to Space Tijuana, I hear the carnitas are out of this world. Ah, I love that show. And what do you do? Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.